This is the ultimate loadout for heavy. Although the second banana is kind of interchangeable with the sandwich and the Tommy Slav is kind of interchangeable with the minigun. But the gloves, I wouldn't change these for the world. Warning, these are opinions from someone who is bad at heavy and who doesn't mean this class as he means a good class, lol lol. Anyway, let's start as always by looking at the official weapon tier list for Heavy which is funny because it's not official and then I'll go through some of the best weapons he has to offer and try and justify this choice of loadout. We will look at the B tier weapons and above and although this list may not be perfect I think it's good enough to give us an idea as to which weapons we need to take a look at more closely and which we can dismiss for this video. But let me know in the comments below if you spot one that you think should have been given more attention. I think it's fair to say that the stock minigun and Tommy Slav are generally considered the best primaries for heavy. There are a lot of videos comparing the two, but I don't think there's an overall consensus as to which is the superior weapon. Two of the more popular videos on the topic, from Big Joey and Zesty Jesus, use different methods to try and determine which is the best and come to different conclusions. One focuses on the damage done at each range in a heavy versus heavy duel and shows the Tommy Slav to win out in 5 out of 6 of the situations used in the video and the other measures stats over a number of games and shows the stock to generally perform better averaging at around 10% more DPS throughout the game. Both are pretty compelling pieces of evidence and for the most part for us peasant pub dwellers whatever you enjoy using is probably fine and perhaps this is one of those cases where you could pick one of the two depending on the map you're playing just to optimize that damage you're putting out that tiny bit more. Not that I bother switching loadouts of course I'm far too lazy for that plus more more importantly I have this beautiful Tommy Slav gifted to me by Zesty Jesus which is far too pretty not to use. Thanks again for that by the way. So I do tend to lean towards the Tommy Slav and I think it's because I feel like I spend a lot of my time at mid range. This might be because I'm terrible at heavy, I'm not sure. And at close range any of the primaries are going to absolutely shred so my logic is why not pick the primary that tends to do slightly better at longer ranges. But I have to say I also enjoy the slightly faster spin up time which has a subtle but noticeable impact impact on the flow of your game and of course the fact that the Tommy Slav is silent when spun up is another massively useful feature. It may seem like a small perk but I probably get value from this in every single game as it allows me to ambush enemies and play as the fat spy. It also has the benefit of allowing you to hear important sound cues too which would normally be drowned out by the minigun. For this video I wanted to do some additional research though and see if anyone else has any opinions on this matter. If you use the Tommy Slav, I f***ing hate you. I also found this video. Like I would pretty much always say minigun. The Tomislav is really good if you're like shooting bulkier classes from like a medium range. You can play just fine with both miniguns. The Tomislav is also really good because it uses less ammo pit fire slur. I'd say uh, stick to what you do better with. You are not at a disadvantage for yeah. preferring one over the other. There are clearly lots of factors involved, but it seems like there's not a huge amount in it. On a side note, because the differences in the two weapons does feel quite subtle, I would love to see some tweaks that pushes the concept of the Tommy Slab even further to help distinguish the two weapons a little more, perhaps giving it even more accuracy, even faster spin-up time, but even less damage or something like that. As I've said many times before, my favourite kind of weapon unlocks are those that are really distinct and make you play the game differently, and I think Heavy probably suffers one of the most from a lack of diversity, especially for his primary weapons. But don't worry though, we have recently had the Heavy update. Such a good hat and a welcome update, but yeah, the heavy update, it's still coming, any minute now, just you wait, I still have faith. Finally, the Natasha is pretty awesome too, and it had been so long since I'd used it that I'd completely forgotten about the plus 20% damage resistance when spun up and when your health is at less than 50%. But it's probably the longer spin up time as well as the reduced damage that puts me off a little bit, but I still think it's probably a slightly underrated weapon. But let me know what you think in the comments below.
The Sandwich and Banana are both god tier weapons, that's indisputable, and if you choose the Sandwich that's fine, I won't hate you too much, but let me explain why the Banana is far superior, and why all my opinions are right, and it's not just because it's mildly phallic. It's simply because in my personal experience I don't usually need the full 300 health from a Sandwich, so I'm happy to trade 100 of that health for a faster cooldown, and 25.5 seconds to 10 seconds is a big reduction in the cooldown. Now I realise the banana is the selfish man's secondary snack, as it provides less health when shared with others, although remember you can throw it more often, but who cares about other people, especially when you're bad at heavy and forget to heal people who are slowly dying in front of you anyway. The second banana is another one I would love to see a slightly more extreme version of. What if for example it granted only 100 health, but took only a couple of seconds to use? No idea if that's broken, but again I like how that would mean it would become very different to the trusty sandwich. Now I have to give the Dilokos bar a quick mention, I love the Chocky bar, don't get me wrong, love the concept, it's more about front loading that health rather than recovering from a fight afterwards, but 50 health doesn't feel like a big enough game changer for me, I feel like in the middle of a fight I'd probably be retreating at approximately the same time, but my experience with the item is pretty limited so let me know if I'm missing anything with this one. And finally let's talk about shotguns. <laughs> The best thing about shotguns in my opinion is that it gives you protection as you're traversing the map, especially as you head to the front lines and you're under the gaze of watchful spies. It makes you feel so much more mobile and so much more secure to have a means of protecting yourself. And it makes me feel I guess less of a moving sentry gun where you relocate and then start laying down fire. It allows you to be a part of the fight whilst moving too. And it's actually also just a really fun way to play heavy, however once you start to rely on the ability to quickly heal yourself at a press of a button at any given moment, it's really hard not to miss it when that's gone. And when you are actually at the front lines trying to deal as much damage as possible, then for the most part you're going to want to be using your primary, and if you're careful you'll rarely run out of ammo too. In terms of the panic attack versus stock shotgun, a wise man once told me that anywhere the shotgun is good, the panic attack is better, and because I don't really use the panic attack much, I have no idea if that's true, so I'm going to take their word for it, I don't know who it was, it was just probably some troll child on the internet who had no idea what they're talking about, oh god leave me alone. Okay, last but not least, what's the best melee weapon for heavy? And I think this is the most interesting question, as there are so many great options, each offering a different utility. I expect that if I did a poll, I would find that the most popular melee weapon for heavy are the Fists of Steel, allowing players to take 40% less damage from range sources, which is an incredible useful utility. And all you need to sacrifice is the use of your melee weapon as a melee weapon, as they make you twice as vulnerable to melee attacks, but this really isn't much of a big deal because you don't have to use your melee weapon as the heavy that often. So the Fists of Steel really are a pretty incredible weapon and a clear upgrade from stock, as they allow you to more safely close the distance to the enemy, escape through dangerous sightlines, check where snipers are positioned, and even tank headshots from snipers, greatly reducing the lethality of one of your biggest counters. So I absolutely use these, apart from the fact that I don't, and that's because I'm in love. I'm in love with the gloves of running amazingly. Why? Because they grant you an incredibly useful utility, and if used well, you get this with pretty much no downside. If you use these for nothing but getting to the front line, you can simply switch back to your primary a few seconds before you get there, or if you're accompanied by a medic you don't even have to do this allowing you to get to the fight quicker, basically for free. And often this extra speed while rolling out allows you to take a much more favourable position for the first fight, especially when playing on Koth maps. The Heavy's biggest weakness is that he is a big, fat, slow, fatty, fat man who's slow. Sorry Heavy mains. So anything to increase his speed is super valuable. And on top of this, what's the most important thing a Heavy player needs to know about and be good at? Aside from tracking, it's positioning, and these help a lot with that too. Too, allowing you to more quickly relocate between fights to keep the enemies on their toes, and in my experience they can even be useful mid-fight. 30% faster movement speed may not seem like much, 
but it can be enough to make that sniper miss their shot or to dodge a spy's backstab and just allow you to duke out that fist fight to finish someone off or escape situations where you absolutely should have died. When equipped, your max health of course drains by 10 HP per second, which is obviously a huge downside and changes how you use your melee slot entirely, but that's kind of partly why I like it so much. The gloves of running outstandingly are also just a lot of fun to use too, as it makes your downtime in the game a little bit more interesting and it makes you feel a little bit more like you're doing something when you're just holding down that W to get across the map. I think since the change that came with the Jungle Inferno update in 2017, a lot of people have dismissed this item and I think they're kind of underrated by many. In this update there was a change from taking mini crits when active and for a short period after changing to another weapon to the new health draining mechanic and I don't think it was as big of a nerf as some people may have thought. I'm pretty much a simp for the gloves of running beautifully and there's nothing you can do to stop me loving them forevermore. Plus they have flames on them and stuff so that's pretty cool. The one last weapon I wanted to mention are the KGB. I'm not sure exactly where these sit. I'm not a fan of them, but I've spoken to people who kind of rate them. They're probably better than stock because you have this interesting perk that you almost get for free, granting the player crits on all of their weapons every time you get a melee kill. But I feel like you do this so rarely in a game, unless you're coordinating with a medic, so you're not always getting value out of these. Whereas with the Fists of Steel and the Gloves of Running um, greatly, you're using pretty much all the time. Oh yeah and the gentle tickle mittens they're really good too because they're tickly and also because they help you murder people when they're rebooted. so there you have it what do you think of that and when I looked more closely at this loadout, I realized that they all kind of increased the speed of the heavy's gameplay, in a way, anyway. The Tommy Slav spins up quicker, the second banana's cooldown is quicker, and the gloves of running amazingly are, well, they literally just go faster gloves. This is the speedy loadout for heavy, or at least about as speedy as the heavy gets, anyway. Unless you count Fat Scout, that is. And if we were to summarize this video, I love the speedy gloves of running gloriously. Ha 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 ha!